The shocking footage starts here. Masked thieves throwing rock after rock at the front door around 4.30 Saturday morning, kicking and pulling the glass apart, eventually making a hole big enough to climb through. Inside, they use bolt cutters to cut cables and steal four dirt bikes. Pretty brazen, they're obviously prepared. The six suspects, described by police as young men, late teens to early 20s, run out of Nalt's Power Sports in Wyndham with the bikes. Officers arriving on scene just four minutes later. They've obviously staked the place out. They, they knew what they were getting into. Nalt's general manager, Kurt Grenier, says five helmets were also taken, the bikes and helmets totaling more than $40,000. They think they're stealing bikes. They're stealing people's paychecks. This is a low inventory situation. We hard to have, have any inventory to sell and, and they're stealing what little we have. It's the second time Nalts has been targeted in less than a year. We hit a second time in total. We're probably looking at $100,000 between both hits. Surveillance captured this burglary back in May. Grenier says no one has been charged in that break-in, but they made some security upgrades. We got better cameras, better security, but these guys, they're in and out, they're prepared. You know, they know what they want when they get here, they're on a mission. Now Grenier is on his own mission to figure out who's responsible, saying he's not alone. They've hit every dealer that I'm aware of from the Connecticut border all the way up to Maine. Grenier says if you see a dirt bike that looks out of place, it probably is and call police. He's now offering a $10,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest and conviction.